This is AEDT 1160U Digital Communication Technologies. The title for this video clip is Selling Socially Online. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. How does one sell online? What is the shift of thinking between in-person and online sale? What is social about selling online? When Jack was studying for his undergrad degree, he lived in a big city of the West Coast where housing was very expensive. For the first few years, he lived in a student residence, but after a while, he wanted to live on his own. He didn't have the means to rent an apartment, but he rented a big room that gave him enough space to live on his own. When he moved, he realized that he could make better use of his place so he decided to buy wood to build a bunk bed and a working station under it. He had to get rid of his bed, his desk and some shelves. He wrote an ad that he posted on the student services billboard, but the next day the ad disappeared. He sent a message through Facebook, but nobody in his network responded. Jack decided to turn to online classified ads and posted an ad under the furniture rubric. He received many offers, including that of someone who said, I'm lonely and walking under the moonlight. I hope you are real and that this ad is not a fake one. I had a lot of bad experiences from online ads. Jack didn't quite understand that ad, so he decided to ignore it. But he responded to the people who seemed to be genuinely interested. He took the time to be courteous with everyone and to follow up on their questions. Not only did he sell everything he wanted to get rid of, but when people came to see his furniture, he also sold his shoe rack, a coat hanger, a coffee maker, and some utensils he no longer needed. When people saw the bunk Jack was building for himself, they wondered if he offered the service elsewhere. This gave Jack an idea, and rather than working at minimum wage for the summer, he thought he could build some bunk beds and other rough wooden furniture made of 2x4s for people. He offered his services on Craigslist and ended up getting several interesting contracts. He was quite proud of his work and took pictures of everything he built. When the summer ended, people kept on requesting his services to build bunk beds, closets, working stations, shelves, TV stands, garden benches, etc. Jack had to focus on his courses and he thought it could be interesting to create plans and give advice to people on how to build what they needed. Jack posted the pictures in the furniture section and wrote the following message. If you want to build this, I can help you. A surprising amount of people contacted him and through a few email exchanges and phone calls, Jack managed to get some consulting contracts. He advised people on the material to get and visited them to give them some hands-on advice as they were building their furniture. He charged a minimum fee for each visit and soon became well known for his rough furniture building tutoring. This was fine for a while, but after he graduated, Jack needed to find a better way to earn a living. With a degree in computer engineering, Jack found a job easily after graduation, but he didn't enjoy having a 9-to-5 job where he had to constantly report to several people. He certainly didn't enjoy programming someone else's software without ever seeing the end results. After a year, Jack started thinking he could reinvest what he had learned while building rough furniture. He thought that he could sell electronic products online. He found some suppliers in several countries but rather than focusing on the objects he had for sale, he could create some tutorials for do-it-yourself electronic repairs and link his products to the repair manuals. Soon, Jack's customers were emailing him with all sorts of comments and suggestions to add steps in his repair manuals. Jack decided to export his repair manuals to a wiki and he let his customers edit the manuals as they wished. The more people edited, the more they were buying products and vice versa. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. What fundamental personal quality does Jack have? What did Jack learn from his student self-created job that he reinvested in his business? Why do you think this was a successful strategy?